Boys and girls, I want to teach you the meaning of a word or a name. Can you guys read this? What does it say? Emmanuel. I want to teach you what this means. It means God is with us. Can you say God is with us? Yes. So if I say Emmanuel, you'll say? So what does Emmanuel mean? Okay, so we all need to know that God is with us. But unfortunately, there was a king. His name was Ahaz. He didn't know this. He did not know that God was with him, and he didn't believe it. He was the king of Judah. You know the place that God's people lived? He was the king of Judah, and he was not a good king. He turned away from God. He disobeyed God. He did some very, very terrible things. And he worshipped idols. He didn't worship God. And you know what else he did? He led all his people to worship idols too, and not the one true God. But do you know what was happening at that time? There were two other kings, the king of Israel and the king of Aram. And they joined forces. They, they partnered up. And they wanted, to, um, they wanted to fight a bigger bully, and that was Assyria. They were powerful. They were strong. And they wanted King Ahaz to join them, the two kings. But you know what King Ahaz said? He said, nah, I'm good. He goes, no, thank you. I don't want to. And so the two other kings got mad, and they said, oh, yeah? Okay. Then I'm just going to have to go down and attack you. And so King Ahaz was probably like, uh, I did not think of that one, right? And so they wanted to get rid of King Ahaz, and they wanted to put someone else in his place in, as the king of Judah. And they wanted someone who would listen to them, who would obey them, kind of like a puppet king. And King Ahaz and all his people in Judah, they were terrified. They were so scared. They knew those two kings and their armies were coming to get them. So God sent a prophet, and his name was Isaiah. And he said, go to King Ahaz and tell him a message. I want you to tell him that I am with him, that God was with him, right? And he said, I have a message for you. He said, calm down and be quiet. Listen, don't be afraid. Don't be cowardly because of those two kings. Yeah, they want to come and they want to destroy you. They want to conquer this place. But God said, it's not going to happen. And children, boys and girls, if God says it's not going to happen, do you think it will happen? Nope. Yes. You know what? Isaiah said something very important to him. He said, if you do not stand in your firm in your faith, you will not stand at all. That was a very important thing. King Ahaz had to trust and believe that God was with him. And so the Lord spoke again through his prophet, and he said, ask for a sign, king. He said, ask the Lord your God for a sign. It could be as big as you want, as hard as you want. And then the king, you know what he said? He said, mm, I don't want to ask for a sign. I don't want to test the Lord. But boys and girls, that sounds really good, right? But it wasn't that good. You know why? His heart, it wasn't good because he was not worried that he would test God. He didn't trust God. His heart did not trust God. And so instead of trusting God, you know what King Ahaz did? He sent some money to the bigger bully, Assyria, and he wanted his help and his protection from the two other kings. Boys and girls, but God gave King Ahaz a promise anyway, and he wanted him to trust in his faithfulness that God is a promise keeper. And it was a promise that was going to happen way later in the future, but it was a promise that he could trust and hope in. It was something for real. And you know what the sign was? That there is going to be a virgin, a young woman. She's going to have a son, and his name is going to be... Emmanuel. Now, what does Emmanuel mean? God is with us. And that was the promise. And this promise was done way before Jesus was born. Now, Jesus is our fulfilled promise. And on Christmas Day, do you guys celebrate Christmas? Yes? Christmas is the day that we celebrate the birth of Emmanuel, Jesus Christ. You know, if Jesus did not come, life would be very different. We would have no hope, joy, peace. 
if Jesus did not come, we would have no forgiveness of sins. And we wouldn't have a forever love relationship with God. You know, if Jesus did not come, God would not be living in us through his Holy Spirit. If Jesus did not come, we wouldn't know how big and full God's love for us is. But out of God's love, guess who came? Jesus. Jesus came. And when we put our faith and trust in him, guess what? He becomes our Emmanuel. What does Emmanuel mean? Boys and girls, God is always with us. He sent Jesus so he can keep his promise. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your faithfulness. We thank you that you are a promise keeper and you sent your son Jesus so that you can keep your promise. Father, may you help us to also believe and trust in you and to stand firm in our faith. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray, amen.